Now you need to enter safe mode. Every version of Windows has a slightly different way of entering safe mode, so if you don't know how to do it, or you're not feeling comfortable doing it on your own, there's a link below with a detailed guide that I've prepared. We recommend this because often viruses disable some PC and browser functions to block your attempts in removing some of the virus's integra parts. Let's open the key register. You do this by typing into the search field, regedit. If you're not feeling comfortable, don't worry. You can't really mess things up here. Just follow what I'm about to do and you'll be fine. It's all a matter of finding the right registry key to edit. Enter the directories you see on your screen and delete the respective strings that were infected. Just pause the video and go through all of these directories. However, virus creators often tweak their creations over time, so what you see now may not be up to date. If you believe this is the case, check out our website where we update our information. For Firefox, open the browser. Make sure you've selected the menu bar by right clicking on the very top. On the history drop down, click on clear recent history. Choose everything. Make sure you've checked all the boxes available. Now we'll reset the browser. Choose troubleshooting information and refresh browser. Finish. And we're done. Just get rid of this. Now for Chrome. Open the application, doesn't matter from where. Under the menu button, click on settings. Then history and clear browser data. If you don't want to delete all your history and you know approximately when you caught the adware, feel free to delete to a specific period of time. Simply check all the boxes except passwords and then clear browser data. Now we can move on to resetting the browser. Back to settings and all the way down to the bottom. Click reset settings. If this video was helpful, please press the like button or you can subscribe to our channel. And if say you still had trouble, write to us on our Google Plus profile.